Hey everybody, uh, here I am today. I have a video tip for you. Just kind of, this is an intro to it. We've got some footage coming up, coming at you. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it back the whole time because I hate saying that. And I'm like, it's, it's always my, coming at you. Uh, oh crap. I'm sorry, there's a wasp flying around the garage and I just killed a nest the other day and and there's more of them flying around here. They chased people out of the garage the other day when I was at school. I mean, they were like pretty pissed off. Usually I don't have problems with walls, but so let's just make sure he stays over there. Actually, now he's disappeared, so. Okay, anyway, uh, <laughs> I had a school the other day, a one-on-one -on -one private lesson with Lil Tim Schreiber. He's actually jumped up from a 150 to a 250 four-stroke F. Um, it's actually um, was my son Ryder's bike a while ago. He bought it from John Fee and uh, jumped on it and the kids like adapted to it really well. Young kid, um, riding it good. So we had a lesson, did some stuff, and worked on a lot of things. And I think in this next uh, video clip you're going to find some useful tips. But it's, you know, a lot of about corners, um, different stuff, line selection coming in, um, the importance of the downshift, why that's important. You know, it's a lot of stuff that you've heard me talk about and do video tips on before, and I'm laughing because I always think redundant. You know, redundant's a big word for a guy like me, dumb redneck. Repeating myself all the time, but, you know, I repeat myself a lot because I feel like you have to hear it a couple times. I know I do to get it right. I'm a slow learner, dude. I can, and so many things I can attest to that. Um, <laughs> uh, use of the front brake, the proper use of the front brake, and why. Um, Downshift coming in helps slow the bike down, brake helper, no clutch. One of the things, side things, my personal life, I'm trying to, not trying to, I am, uh, getting my CDL license. And one of the questions about air brakes and, and the general knowledge test part of it as well, you know, as far as slowing the truck down going down a hill. You know, you have to shift into a lower gear before you, you know, go down the hill. It's funny because it's applied the same thing. You're using the engine braking going down the hill by shifting into that lower gear, it's the same concept on a dirt bike coming into a corner, banging it down a gear, and using the brake as a helper. You do it entering the turn, and you do it in a truck before you go down the hill. So before a turn, before the, you know. So it kind of all applies, and it's kind of cool. I got that question right, by the way. Um, struggle with a little bit of that. Stuff. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Um, so there's some useful tips on that, and uh, some stuff, just me, me and Tim riding stuff. Um, also, there's going to be a uh, link for my t-shirts. They're only available in blue and black for now. Uh, all large, oh, all larges. All sizes, you big guys, <laughs> trust me, I'm pushing a large these days. Um, they're available and not just this design, there's a couple different ones, uh, some traditional ones and this one. I kind of like this one, it's kind of cool. But got some different stuff in the works too, we're playing around with. Um, Anyway, designerwraps.com slash RLR, all lowercase letters. The link will be at the end for 20 bucks plus shipping. So, and you gotta give them time to make it, so. <laughs> they, don't make, they don't have them on hand. Um, I will have some on hand at some of the races coming up in, in two weeks. So, um, look for that. I really thank you guys for your time. Here's the tip with me and Tim doing some riding with Big Tim videos. So, thanks, and I'll talk to you soon. The old man just walked out of the house, so the admiral's around. Oh, crap. Thanks, guys. Where's that wolf? Stay wherever you are. Having been new to the horse stroke, right? Coming off a two stroke, is when to use the gearbox, meaning coming in instead of being really hard on the rear brake, think about your downshift. Okay? The, the misconception is a lot of people think just because you're in that low gear, you downshift coming in and you're only in it for the length of the turn, a lot of times they don't want to go into it. But a lot of times, just by going and grabbing a gear down, you can slow the bike down easier. Because just like a Mack truck, I'm learning about CDL right now. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. Um, and one of the questions is, you know, going down a hill, how do you slow the, slow the tractor down? A lot of times it's just by gearing down before you start down the hill. Gear down before you come into the corner will slow you down, okay? And don't, don't pull the clutch in, just banging down the gear, okay? It's going to help the rear brake in a sense you don't have to use as much. All right? How do you think? How are you with your front brake? You getting more comfortable or no? 
Uh, not really. Not really. So not that's really. something we got to work on too. Yeah. Bringing more front brake in. Okay. So let's do a couple laps. Two laps focusing on a downshift and more front brake. So let's eliminate the rear. Slow it down. Not as much clutch. Your fingers out there just in case you need it. But <clears throat> focusing on the downshift and more front brake. More front brake. What finger are you using on the front brake? Reach for it right now. I use that. With that? I use that. Both? Okay. Yeah. Try and go to one. Okay. Either your pointer or your middle. Just because I find that, like, if guys use two, it's hard to modulate it if you're using two fingers. I know it sounds crazy, but at least if you're just using one, and I use my trying to use my middle, it's easier to modulate the brake because we don't want to just stab on it, do we? No. No. All right. Locking your four stroke. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's fire it up and see what happens. See left. We're just going to go through here. That there's a couple. There's a My front wheel goes wide, right, on the entrance, and then cut back in. Once you're clear of the tree on the inside, right? I call it a bull pine, because if you hit it, it's going to be like hitting a bull. <laughs> All right? So wide on the entrance, and then cut back in. Front wheel up underneath you. You're running up at the apex, your front wheel is high, and then you try and lay it over. It's a common mistake. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. What else are we working on here that's going to work as far as slowing it down? Down. Down to when we downshift, tell me without me putting words in your mouth, it, is it beneficial to you? What do you feel when you do it right? Faster. It's faster. <laughs> okay, that's a good thing. It's faster to both. But think, think why. why. Why is it faster? What's the bike doing? Uh, slowing down a bit. It's slowing down a little easier, right? Yeah. What about coming out? Is it any better coming out or no? Yeah. Why? It's smoother. It's smoother. Because you're, you're not in that higher gear. It's weird though, because you're only in the downshift in that lower gear the length of the turn. Yeah. Right? Alright. Um, try just let's just focus on right here instead of going in that, you know, just cutting across right where I did. And this is our focal point, this turn. Why going in and making that inside line, you know, follow it with the front wheel instead of being high. Alright? Yeah. Follow? Yeah. Good. Inside lines develop. It's an inside line, but is it faster? Probably not. Be confident in your answer. Is it faster? And there's no wrong answer. I'm just curious what you think. No. No? In terms of your arc, it seems like coming out, yes, you're cutting off the first part of the tree. Uh, first part of the tree. First part of the turn, right? So it's more direct. But where you meet, the trail is actually the apex of a turn, so therefore it tightens up your apex even more. Plus, a bike length past it, there's a big oak tree on the inside. So it's like two apexes in one. Coming in for me, coming in here, I, like you can, you, you got good speed right here through the little whoops, kickers, and right here, I just reel you right back in. You've already pulled away from me, you reel you right back in because you've tightened up your apex and you have to slow down more. <clears throat> and <clears throat> it's just feel. But understand, I'm not I'm not against trying to find an inside line, but think of your arc, arc of the turn. Okay, the arc of the turn is, is what's got to come to your benefit, and it's not benefiting you. Staying wide, you can stay more consistent on the throttle and drive all the way into that next part. Down there, where it's tight, um, more front brake needs to happen, and we sit when when we clear the inside tree. The bike gets leaned as the handlebar clears the inside tree, and then sit accelerate. Right. Isn't it funny how we fall back in the old habits? <laughs> so, all right, we're good, Dad? Good. Okay. All right. So there's the tip. Hope that helped. Hope you got some useful information out of it. Please, please, please comment. I enjoy reading your comments. Um, Got some of the last one, just just different stuff. Even if it's just, hey man, thanks, cool. You know, because it makes me feel good knowing you guys appreciate it. I know you do. Um, I'm grateful for all the appreciation and all the comments. I'm grateful for that. Um, keep it rolling. And in line with that, if you're gonna comment, comment on some you know stuff that you'd like to know about. You know, if you have a question, even if it's something small, tiny, there's a lot of things we overlook, you know, riding doing this for so long that, you know. <laughs> 
we don't even think about just do naturally. And a lot of times, you know, people have questions like that on little things and, and that I wouldn't even think would make a cool tip. But bringing it to my attention would be awesome. So I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys, for uh, allowing me to help you out. It's pretty cool the way my uh, YouTube channel is growing a little bit and the shirts. We're going to keep it going. So thank you very much. Found the walls, by the way. <laughs> he is, uh, he flew out of here. I didn't kill him. I don't like killing anything. But anyway, uh, designerwraps.com slash RLR. And please comment, like, dislike if you want, whatever you like. So Beehive Enduro coming up this weekend. We always call it the Beehive National because there's one Enduro you ride. If you live in this area, it's the Beehive Enduro. So it's like the Beehive National. So it's coming up this weekend. It's, it's okay. It's, an, it's all right. It's an all right race. So go on there and have some fun. So y'all be good. Thank you.